what's up YouTube it's Kim and it's way in Wednesday or well actually it's non way in Wednesday because I missed my meeting this morning my alarm was set for 6 30 a.m. but at 7 3 I heard the little pitter patter of my daughter's feet running from her room and I'm like oh, I'm like my meeting and I looked at my phone and it said you know alarm as if like it was going off but no sound was coming out I have no idea if I snoozed it, if I turned it off, if I had a phone malfunction, I have no idea. So I missed my meeting, I couldn't weigh in. So I am going to go to Saturday morning meeting, which actually is gonna work out great because I can make it Saturday morning. It'll be motivation and inspiration, a little extra push I need before I leave for vacation on Saturday. And it will be my last weigh-in for the month, so it gives me a few more days to rock it out. I still wanted to make a video today because I wanted to talk about summer goals and my plans for vacation. And also, this will be the last sit-down video I do until the fall. Tomorrow is my daughter's last day of school, and she will be home all summer. I'm still going to be working. I'm going to try to work it out where I do something with her during the day, beach or pool or play date, and then I'm going to work at night. So it's going to be a crazy summer. I have no idea if I'm going to be you know, able to do vlogs in the car, which will be hard because if I go seven on Wednesdays, I have to be home by eight because my husband has to leave for work. Or if I go Saturdays, I can do a vlog in the car or if she's not home or downstairs, but I'm gonna work it out, hopefully. It might be, uh, you know, in my bedroom with the door closed, but it won't be like this, a sit down um, type video, but I know you guys don't care. You just want to see me every week. You don't care about it. So let's talk about summer goals. Happy first day of summer, by the way. I thought it was the perfect day to wear my new lemon shirt. And I had these little yellow earrings. So I'm just feeling bright and lemony today. So summer goals. First and foremost, I want to track every day, no matter what. No matter if it's a perfect, 31 point day or a 101 point day. I want to be mindful and I want to track. I also want to focus on fresh fruit and veggies. The fruit is absolutely delicious. Yesterday I had the most delicious bowl of watermelon. I had cotton candy grapes, which I found at Costco, by the way. Super excited. I've been looking for those for two years. Yes, they do actually taste like cotton candy and they're zero smart points. I want to make good choices when I'm eating out. You know, in the summer, focus on seafood if I go out, nice summer salads. I have to get away from fried stuff, which I was so proud of myself this week. I went out to dinner, I made a great choice, and I felt so good about it. I want to get in activity every day this summer. My daughter is a super active six-year-old. She loves to be outside doing stuff, so I wanna be doing so much stuff with her. So I won't be able to have a formal workout, you know, per se, but I wanna get an activity. Even if it's raining, maybe we can do a video on YouTube, some type of activity, or dance to Fitness Marshall, one of the PG videos with her, but activity every single day, no matter what it is. I want to drink lots of water this summer. I got this awesome mug from Walmart, and it's, yes, it's the size of my head. It, it holds 48 ounces, so my goal is to drink two of these a day. Right now I have some fresh limes in there to flavor it up, um, or I'll drink my lemon water. So drinking water is high on my list of summer goals. I actually don't have a weight goal. I know if I do what I just said, the above things, that the weight will come off. I don't like to set really weight goals and then if I don't reach them, I get disappointed. I just wanna go by how I feel and when I feel in control and I'm tracking, then everything else kind of falls into place. So what are your summer goals? Take the time today, get a piece of paper, write them down, stick them on your fridge so you can see them every day and you have something to work towards. I find that really helps for me when I write it down on paper. Okay, so I got vacation coming up next week. I am ready. I am feeling determined. 
I am going to track every day. I am going to get activity every day. I have decided that the food there is just not worth it. It's not amazing food. So I know that when I come back, I will feel so much better if I stay on track and I have a plan. So when I get there on Sunday, they have a huge Walmart and one of the Walmarts that has a grocery store. And I have a list of things that I'm gonna go buy, such as sugar-free oatmeal, light whipped topping, cheese sticks, fruit. I'm gonna bring my Trader Joe's reduced carb wraps. So I am going to make it work. Every meal, they serve a bread basket with the most delicious rye bread. And for beverages, they serve water and whole milk, like from the farm. And I'm not gonna have any milk. I'm just gonna stick to water. I'm not gonna have any bread. And I'm gonna make good choices. I am going to take a printout of the Simply Filling Foods list with me. I'm not doing Simply Filling, but I wanna stick to the foods on that list. I think if I focus on protein, fruits and veggies and whole grains, I can make it through this vacation without a gain. So I was watching Counting Kelly on Instagram and I love in her Instagram stories, she a lot of times shares things that she heard from her meeting. So a couple weeks ago, she said that her leader said, where do you want to be in September? Are you willing to accept the outcome of the effort you put in? Low effort equals low result. High effort equals high result. So what are you willing to do this summer? Are you willing to track? Are you willing to get your activity? Are you willing to drink water? Are you willing to weigh and measure? Are you willing to be mindful and make good choices when you eat out? If yes, you are going to lose weight because high effort equals high result. You can't not do those things and expect a miracle and to lose a lot of weight. So I am feeling so great. I'm in such a better place than I was a few weeks ago. I am motivated. I want to do all those things this summer and I want you guys to make a commitment to do all those things this summer as well. This week's subscriber question of the week comes from Erica's Journey. Hey Erica. And she asks, do you stay within your weeklies most weeks or do you go over them but feel as long as you track, you are good? Yes, I do. I feel like as long as I track, I'm good. But the last, I wanna say six months, I have been going over a lot. And that is why I have been going up and down and playing with the same pounds for the last, you know, five, six months. But I'm happy to say this week, I still am leaving weeklies on the table. I had a fantastic week. I ate balanced and I feel really good about it. I feel like I'm gonna break the cycle and I want to continue to track and use my weeklies. I'm not saying don't use your weeklies, use your weeklies, but I've been going over my weeklies. So moral of the story is, Track, 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 that is the key to success. Thank you, Erica, so much for your question. If anyone has a question for me, please put it down in the comments below and I will answer it in a future video. Yesterday, I posted a video, a shopping haul. I got some clothes from Walmart, including this lemon shirt, and some shoes from Payless, so if you wanna check that out, I will put that in the link below. And I look forward to seeing you when I get back and reporting about an awesome vacation that I had and hopefully a very minimal weight gain or a maintain or if the angels are with me, maybe a loss. We'll see. But have a great start to the summer, guys. Thank you for all your support. And as always, stay fit and fabulous. Bye.